We'll be discussing what an RTD is and how you can quickly check if it's working properly. An RTD, or resistance temperature detector, is a passive device which predictably increases in electrical resistance as temperature increases. RTDs come in many different shapes and sizes, but are most commonly constructed as thin film elements. A thin layer of platinum is etched onto a ceramic base and covered in protective glass. As the platinum heats up, its resistance increases. By measuring this resistance, we can calculate a temperature using a lookup table or a standard equation. RTDs are generally classified by two numbers, the resistance at zero degrees C and the temperature coefficient of resistance, or alpha coefficient. In the industrial world, PT100 slash 385 alpha RTDs are by far the most common. This terminology means that the RTD has a resistance of 100 ohms at zero degrees C and a slope of resistance from zero to 100 degrees C of 0 0.00385 ohms per ohms degree C. In other words, at zero degrees C, the resistance would read approximately 100 ohms, depending on the tolerance of the element. As the temperature increases, the resistance will increase by about 0 0.385 ohms per degree Celsius. The curve isn't perfectly linear, but the actual values are well known and published for RTDs of all different resistances and alphas. So, how can you quickly spot check to see if an RTD is working properly? With a standard handheld multimeter, the process is quick and easy. First, use a lookup table to determine the expected resistance of the RTD based on the current room temperature. Here, in San Diego, it's sunny and about 78 degrees out, so our expected resistance is about 109 ohms for a PT100 385 alpha RTD. RTDs can be constructed in two, three, or four wires. On a two-wire RTD, simply set the multimeter to measure the resistance and check the resistance between the two leads. This RTD reads about 109 ohms, so it's functional. On a three-wire RTD, two of the wires are connected to each other, and the third wire is connected to the opposite side of the platinum element. In general, these will be color-coded accordingly. Check the resistance between the two light color wires, and it should measure close to zero ohms. Then, check the resistance between the two dissimilar color wires. This RTD reads about 109 ohms, so it's functional. On a four-wire RTD, the wires are connected in pairs. Two go to one side of the element, and two go on the other side of the platinum element. Check the resistance between both pairs of light color wires and make sure it reads close to zero ohms. Then, check the resistance between any two dissimilar color wires. This RTD also reads about 109 ohms, so it's functional. If an RTD reads open at any point, or if the resistance is wildly different than the chart, then the RTD may be non-functional. If you have any questions about RTDs, feel free to give us a call or visit RioTemp.com. We're happy to help. Thanks for watching.